Over the past 35 years, the sounds of Mannheim Steamroller have become synonymous with Christmas. And after a four-year absence, the ensemble is returning to Evansville tonight at the Old National Events Plaza. 26-year veteran of the group, Roxanne Layton, will be on the stage lending her percussion and recorder sounds. And she joins us now from Michigan to tell us all about the show. Good morning to you, Roxanne. Good morning. Good well, thank, morning. Thank How you. are you? I'm, I am doing fantastic. Thanks for being with us here. So let's start with, with this. I've heard that you are called the ambassador of the recorder. You must be good. What made you choose the recorder? That's, well, I am an ambassador. There are many. But uh, <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> my dad was building a sailboat to go around the world when I was five years old. And he said, I'd like a portable instrument. So he started me on the instrument. I took lessons. He never finished the boat and we never went around the world. But I continued to play and study and went to knowing conservatory and everything. And everyone always says, well, no, what's your real instrument? And I say, no, it's the recorder, actually. It's, it's quite an amazing instrument. Easy to pick up, hard to master. Oh, wow. That's what I always say. I also play jazz, Latin jazz, folk, all sorts of, maybe, you know, I like to introduce it as a serious instrument to people. We all start in school at, you know, third, pretty much third or fourth grade all over the world. So it is probably the most popular instrument in the world, just uh, people take up other instruments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like the first one you start when, when you're in school, you know, in, in your music class, so... So uh, how did yeah. Steamroller creator uh, Chip Davis come up with that signature sound that, that you're known for? Well, he loves early music, and early music includes recorder, harpsichord, crumb horn, dulcian, all the instruments, lute, that we play on stage. So because of his love of those instruments in that period of time of music, he has incorporated, with, incorporated it with synthesizers, drums, uh, piano, electric violin. We all have to play different instruments. I play electronic drums that has about 300 sounds, timpani and a whole bunch of things. Oh. So the mixture of those two really, he has created quite a unique sound. And, and you're, you're exactly right. It's a unique sound, but unique in a fantastic way. So what is it really about Steamroller sound that really makes it so universally loved? Well, it's timeless, and his arrangements are gorgeous and, and also timeless. It's become a tradition in people's homes and celebrations for Christmas. Mm -hmm. We have four generations now coming to the show, and I want to say publicly thank you for including us in your, in your Christmas tradition and celebration. I think the unique sound of harpsichord and, and this kind of steamrolling, uh, rocking sound when we're really rocking it out um we have both ballads and and rock and roll sounds so we're not just one particular style and you know way back when we had records and uh, cds uh we they couldn't find a bin for us so they had to make a, a Mannheim steamroller uh category and genre oh my gosh so now correct me if i'm wrong have you been there like about tw 26 years now 26 years playing every year. I wow. have been with the group 28, but because of COVID and yeah. uh, another time, we've only I've not played for two years out of 28. So what, what brings you back every season? You know, this is this is my holiday family. It's my tradition to, to play this beautiful music and bring it to you. And um, we have the best time. We've seen each other's children grow up. We spend Thanksgiving and Christmas out on the road. And we have a wonderful time and love playing with each other on stage and traveling together. Also, Chip's music is just gorgeous. There yep. are some nights that, yeah. I, that I tear up on Oh Holy Night. Wow. Well, Roxanne, I tell you what, thank you so much for being with us this morning here on Daybreak. We look forward to seeing you tonight at the Old National Vince Plaza at 730. So thank you again for your time and good luck tonight. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. All right. And we'll be right back.